for the 2004 Swain Maroon Devils. 14-0, state champions for the seventh time in school history. The first undefeated season since 1979. Your 14 wins ties a school record. Other records fell this year, like the most points scored in the season, the highest points per game average as well. What a year. What a great senior leg group. Let's take a look back now, game by game, at this incredible season. Well, the year started at home against Morristown, Tennessee. Scotty McMahon and Josh Anthony started off right with his 13-yard touchdown pass. McMahon goes 7 of 11 for 173 yards and also adds a rushing touchdown. Anthony with four grabs for 124 yards. Justin Evans with two catches for 49 yards. Cody White adds a rushing touchdown and gains 54 yards on the ground. The defense finds the end zone as well as Eric Stevenson scoops up his fumble and rumbles 18 yards with the score. White leads the D with 14 tackles. Neil Cochran with 11. Jason Boston, Anthony, and Mitchell Green all record 10 stops as Swain wins the opener 28-21. Well, game two, a matchup at Smoky Mountain, and this was all Swain. Cody runs with 93 yards and 17 yards on this touchdown right here. Cochran adds two rushing scores as well. McMahon and Casey Schuler also run for pay dirt. Scotty goes six of seven for 89 yards. Anthony with three grabs for 56 yards. The Swain defense saddles the Mustangs for only 131 yards of total offense, and they force four turnovers, 35 nothing. The Devils post the shutout. Up next, a home matchup with Inca. White with another big night, three rushing scores, 104 yards on 14 carries. And late in the first half, he uses his arm to get another score as White hooks up with Evans for the 74-yard strike and just some great moves in the open field by Justin. He has four grabs for 156 yards. McMahon also throws for 138 yards. Anthony scores on a big reverse play. Stevenson also adds a rushing score. A swarming defensive tack forces two turnovers and picks up two sacks. 42-7, your final over the 3A Jets. Well, conference play begins the next week as Robbinsville comes to town. Another balanced offensive night as White scores three times and runs for 77 yards. Schuler rushes for two more scores. Scotty runs for 41 yards and passes for 168 more. Evans with 91 yards on three catches. Anthony with 45 yards on two grabs. Defense is stingy again, only allowing one late touchdown and forcing two more turnovers. 35-7, Swain wins a Smoky Mountain opener. The following week, a special night in Bryson City as you pay tribute to the officers of the State Highway Patrol. As you know, there are many from Swain County serving all across the state. What a sight as a chopper lands on the field to bring out the game ball. Then to see all the officers lead the team out for the coin toss to start the game. <laughs> I tell you, this really inspired your play because on the first play from scrimmage, Cody White rips off this 59-yard touchdown run. White with three scores on the night and 125 yards rushing. McMahon adds a pair of rushing scores as well. He also hooks up with Justin on this 32-yard touchdown strike. Evans with six catches for 121 yards. Scotty goes 10 of 14 for 193 yards. And how about Nick Zimmerman, Mr. Consistency? He nails a school record 45-yard field goal. Defense once again is immovable, holding the Jackets to 195 total yards. 45 to 6, Swain rolls on the special night. Well, a trip down the road to Cherokee is next, and once again, the Devils dominate this one. Defense holding the Braves to 130 yards of offense and recovering three fumbles, also picking off a pass. McMahon leads the offense with two TD passes, one to Evans that goes for 83 yards. Justin with three catches for 135 yards. Scotty goes 7 of 10 for 188 yards. Anthony has another touchdown grab as well. Five rushing scores on the night, two by Schuler, one by White, Stevenson, and Evans. You build a 49-0 lead and win it 49-14. Well, a trip to Andrews is next, and the defense with another big night. This time, only 80 total yards allowed, while the offense rolls up 430. 322 on the ground as White, McMahon, Schuler, Altry, and Hip all run for scores. Scotty passes for another touchdown to White. McMahon with 109 yards passing, and Anthony with 74 yards receiving. Crisp as a touchdown pass to Justin Crawley. Special teams gets in the act as Eric Stevenson gets credit with his takeaway as he goes 32 yards to pay dirt. And later, Evans will return an Andrews kick, 46 yards for another score. This is all Swain, 66 to nothing. 
Well, the always tough Rosman Tigers come to Bryson City the following week, and Cody Wright runs for 119 yards on only eight carries. Four of them go for touchdowns. Schuler and Chris also had rushing TDs. Scotty passes for one score to Anthony. The defense shut out the Tigers in the first half as Yo builds a 35-0 lead, and the Devils win again 48-21. Setting up the regular season finale at Murphy. After falling behind early, White ties it up with his 42-yard touchdown run. We're tied at 14 at the break, but the second half a totally different story. White scores three times. McMahon and Anthony hook up for a touchdown pass. Cody finishes with 206 yards rushing and four touchdowns. McMahon passes for 96 yards. The defense, led by Stevenson's 11 tackles, shut down the Bulldogs in the second half. Devils finish regular season 9-0 with the 42-21 win at Murphy. So the first round of the playoffs are next in a matchup with North Stokes. McMahon puts this one away in the first quarter, accounting for three scores, two on the ground, and one on a three-yard pass to Steven Mercer. The second quarter, Schuler, Hoyle, and Cochran all run for scores, while the defense finds pay dirt as Josh Anthony returns an interception 49 yards for a touchdown. The D holds North Stokes to 187 yards of total offense and forced five turnovers. Your round one final, 49-0 Swain. Well, round two, the shutout continues as Chatham Central comes to town. Defense allows only 187 yards to pick off three passes, while the offense is led by White's 164 rushing yards and three scores. Schuler adds 104 yards rushing and two touchdowns. Stevenson, Crisp, and Altry all run for TDs as well. McMahon and Anthony hook up for a TD pass. Scotty with 137 passing yards. Josh with 60 yards receiving. Jason Boston with two catches for 62 yards. Your round two final, 62 to nothing, Swain. Well, round three has Hobson coming west, and the defense continues a great play, allowing only 157 total yards, while the offense gets 177 yards rushing and one score from Mr. White. Schuler also finds the end zone. McMahon and Anthony hook up for a touchdown strike. Anthony also returns a punt 37 yards. Zimmerman boots a 44-yard field goal. Total team effort, your round three final, 31-7 Swain. Well, the Western Finals is next against two-time champion Elkin. And Swain wanted this one really bad. And Cody gets it going in the first quarter with his 47-yard touchdown run. Stevenson adds a seven-yard run later in the first. White would add another touchdown run in the second quarter to build a 20-0 halftime lead, which was more than enough for this great Swain defense who held high-flying Elkin to only 188 yards of offense and forced four turnovers. Cody White ties a school record with 32 carries on the night. He runs for 193 yards and those two touchdowns. Schuler adds 74 rushing yards. It's time to party in Bryson City because the Devils are heading back to the title game with a 20-7 win over Elkin. In time to take on Southside in the 1A state finals at NC State down in Raleigh. Here is News 13's Jim Markham's report from the title game. Fear plays a big part of it. You'll move faster and quicker when there's fear motivation. Even with a pep talk from Coach Rod White before the game, Swain County with a lot to be afraid of in the first half against Southside. After a scoreless first quarter with both teams falling short on key fourth downs, the Seahawks strike first. Less than two minutes left in the second quarter, Javoris King breaking through. 45 yards down the left side, Swain in a position where they have never been all season long, trailing at halftime, seven to nothing. How does the Green Devil act when the adversity hits? You fight him back. And fight back they did on the second half's opening kickoff. Maroon Devils' Justin Evans brings it down and down the right side. 51-yard return to the 48-yard line. Swain caps the 99-yard scoring drive with a one-yard touchdown run by Cody White on fourth down. Fumble in the end zone recovered, and we're tied at seven. Fourth quarter now, Swain again with a chance to score on fourth and goal on the one-yard line, but Jason Boston is stopped inches from the end zone, and Seahawks take over on downs and make history. From the six-yard line, Southside's Brian Haywood finds the hole, and he's got the whole field. 94 yards for a touchdown, a new state championship game record, and Swain once again down by a touchdown. Let's go, man! Come on! 
three and a half minutes left in the game. Again on fourth down, Scotty McMahon hits Cody White on the run for a 14-yard touchdown and a tie ball game. Then with a minute and a half left, Southside sets to punt, a bad snap, a team safety, Swain takes the two-point lead, scoring in the final two minutes to win the state championship 16 to 14. When I looked up and saw the zero, I was kind of in shock. We had been down the entire game, we were fighting as much as we could, and uh, there, was, there was the fear of losing the entire time, and all of a sudden it flipped around and our motions got all twisted. And ah, it's sad. Uh, I've played them boys since I was five years old. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. So the Maroon Devils come home to Bryson City tonight as state champions for the seventh time in their school history, capping a perfect 14-0 undefeated season. With the state champion Maroon Devils in Raleigh, I'm Jen Mark of News 13 Sports Central. White is named the game's MVP, running for 103 yards. Mitchell Green, the defensive MVP, and McMahon, offensive MVP. What a game. What a year. What a great group of seniors. Congratulations on your seventh title in school history, the 2004 Swain Maroon Devils, 1A state champion.